Relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates. In the application of mathematics, it will be useful to superimpose a rectangular xy coordinate system on top of polar coordinate systems, making the positive x axis coinciding with the polar axis. And if this is done, then every point P will, be, will have both rectangular coordinates x, y and polar coordinates r and theta. Relation, be relation between polar and rectangular coordinates. The rectangular and polar coordinates are related by the equations x equals to r cosine theta and y equals to r sine theta. These equations are well suited for finding x and y when r and theta are known. However, to find r and theta when x and y are known, if it is preferable to use the identities r squared equals to x squared plus y squared and tangent theta equals to y by x. These both relations can be obtained use the, the triangle, right, right angle triangle, which is given in the picture. Let's consider following examples. First, convert the following points from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. First, uh, discuss uh, the point 4 and pi over 2. Here, r is 4, theta is pi over 2. So we can use the formula x r cosine, y r sine, and we can convert it to the rectangular coordinates easily. And in order to find the values of the cosine and sine at the certain angles, we use the calculators. And uh, as you know, cosine pi over 2 is 0, then x becomes 0. Sine at pi over 2 will be 1. So we got 4 times 1, which is 4. So x, y coordinates, the rectangular coordinates, are 0 and 4. This is the answer for A. What about B? R theta negative 3 pi, then we apply the, the same formula to find x, y. So x will be negative 3 times cosine pi, and cosine pi is negative 1, then it will answer is 3. And negative 3 sine pi is y, sine pi is 0, so we got 0. So answer is, uh, in the rectangular coordinates, it will be 3 and 0. Next, uh, question C. R is uh, 5, theta is pi over 6, then we can find easily x and y. x will be cosine pi over 6, y will be 5 sine pi over 6, and cosine pi over 6 is root of 3 by 2, and sine pi over 6 is 1 over 2. The final answer is as follows. We can write in the rectangular uh, form. x, y will be 5 root of 3 times by 2 and 5 by 2. And uh, another example, convert the following points from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Here, the, we reverse this operation for example a x y is 0 4 how we can convert we apply these two formulas then it will be 0 square plus 4 which is 16 so r square is 16 then r will be 4 and what about theta tangent theta can be found as 4 by 0 and theta is pi over 2 because uh, add pi over 2 tangent is not defined or going to infinity if uh, theta approaches pi over 2 from left it is going to plus infinity uh, and you can see from the location of the point 0 4 is located on the y axis okay let's work with the b 
b is 3, negative 3, then uh, in order to find the r, we apply this formula, x squared plus y squared. We replace by 3 and negative 3, then will be 9 plus 9, which is 18. So r squared equals to 18. So r will be root of 18. Okay, just we leave like this. What about tangent? Tangent will be 3 by negative 3. Negative 3 by 3. The negative 1. Theta is negative pi over 4. And if we look to the xy coordinate system, the point with the x positive y negative will be in the fourth quadrant. So the, that point is sketched here. Next example, C negative 3, 3. Again, uh, finding R is uh, almost the same. Negative 3 squared plus 3 squared, 18. So R is root of 18. And what about tangent theta? 3 by negative 3. Again, we got negative 1. And here, theta will be negative pi over 4. This one is wrong, right? Because x negative y positive it is in the second quadrant so negative pi over 4 is not correct so we how we solve this uh, tangent because tangent that equals to negative 1 has many solutions we need to to choose the one which makes our point position correct so we apply the general solution formula negative pi over 4 plus n pi and when n equals to 1 we got 3 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 is our solution because it makes our point location in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, x negative, y positive. And lastly, r equals to 4 cosine theta. Okay, one more like this one. Okay, and just we stop here. And by similar way, we can uh, express equations in the rectangular form if they are gi given in the polar coordinates and vice versa. For example, let's consider this example. We have uh, a r equals to 2. If we want to transfer it to the rectangular form, we replace r by x squared plus y square, then it becomes, equation becomes x squared plus y square equals to 4, which is actually the circle of radius 2. Center at 0, 0. Okay, B, uh, theta equals to pi over 4. In order to transfer to rectangular, we take the tangent from both sides and it will give tangent theta equals to tangent pi over 4. And tangent pi over 4 is 1. Okay. And tangent theta is y by x. So we got y by x equals to 1. And which is actually straight line, y equals to x line. C, uh, r equals to 4 cosine theta. In order to transfer this one to rectangular, we multiply both sides by r. Then on the left side, we got r square. On the right side, 4r cosine theta. And Taking into account the definition of uh, x and y in the polar coordinates, we obtain the following formula. x squared plus y squared equals 2, 4x. Then uh, what we do that we take the 4x to the left side. After that, complete the, the term with, with, which contains x to the complete square. 
it will be x minus 2 square and in order to get it we add the 4 to both sides then we obtain like this uh, equation which is a circle of the radius 2 centered at 2 0 point and the last example here are 2 cosine theta minus 4 sine theta this one is a little bit different but idea is same we multiply both sides by r again then apply the definition of the x and y in the polar coordinates left side will, will be r square right side will be 2r cosine theta 4r sine theta r cosine theta we replace by x r sine by y then take the all expressions to the left side and complete to the squares in order to get equation of the circle we add 1 and 4 to the both sides and which gives equation of the circle of the radius root of 5 centered at 1 and negative 2 the radius will be root of the number on the right side